For more on today's sell-off, let's bring in Tony Dwyer, Chief Market Strategist at Canaccord Genuity. Tony, good to see you as uh, as always. Uh, gauge, for us, well. gauge for us uh, what, what stage of the pullback we're in at the moment. So, well, as you know, corrections only seem natural, normal, and healthy until you get them. Everybody wants to buy a correction before they happen because it feels good when it's going up. And by definition, when the market begins to correct, you find reasons that the excesses are starting to come out. It can be the political environment, which as you know, is total guesswork. It can be the COVID-19, is there gonna be a second wave? Is it already happening? It, it, can it be the Chinese tensions? It's all of those things. But we, as you know, from when we've been on, we were like everybody else, like it's a classic strategist. I was looking for a correction. But the question becomes, this isn't whether you can correct, what do you do with it? And the fundamental thesis we have with a combination of historic excess liquidity and a synchronized global recovery, we want it down 10% is not the time to start getting negative. Could it go down to another one or 2%? I, I've proven over time that I'm not great at calling the bottom tick. But I can identify when you've already been down quite a bit. And I think it creates an opportunity. An opportunity where specifically, Tony, in, in the growth names that have led us higher or in some value names that were just starting to, to pop as sure. the thought was going the that we were going to we see a big recovery? Yeah, the last time we were on, Sarah, as you know, we, we took down our, we just suspended our target because five stocks made up the majority, or not the majority, a very large part of the index weighting. It was dominating the index, plus you have an infinity Fed. So the, there were such excesses in those mega cap, work from home, stay at home stocks. And as they're going up, nobody cared about the excesses because it felt great. Everybody's trading options. It's, it's just, you know, making a lot of money. But as you know, our call was to reduce excess exposure in those stay-at-home mega cap names in favor of the economically sensitive names. I'm kind of neutralizing that because of the beating that those big mega cap names have taken because they're still cyclical and they're good companies. I just think this is one of those times where you want to look at the broad economically sensitive areas. Remember, it is so important that we are having a synchronized global recovery. Those intermediate to long-term indicators are not suggesting we go back anywhere near where we were. So in our history, forget our view, history shows that you want to use periods like this to add into risk exposure as long as you have money availability, which it's still historic, and number two, you have economic increase. Tony, how closely are you watching things like the dollar and gold uh, in their own right, but also for, for what they imply about the S&P 500? So, Wolf, that's a great... Uh, everything that worked isn't working. The mega cap stocks are getting hit. The dollar's having a reflex rally. Com commodities and gold are under pressure. So I went back and I looked at the Dixie, the DXY, which is the U.S. dollar index. Uh, symbol. I went back and I looked. There's four periods where we've had this kind of excessive weakness from peak to where we recently were. And in all these periods, you go down double digit percents, but within that, you typically can have a four, uh, three to four percent counter trend rally. So I think similar to how we're correcting the excesses out of the gains in the stock market, I think we're also correcting the excessive near-term weakness in the dollar. In other words, just a counter trend move. So from here, again, you should, who knows if it lasts another day or another couple of days, but at some point you're going to work through that strong dollar and go back to the underlying trend that was in place for the last five or six months. Tony Dwyer, thanks so much for joining us.